What's good, what's good, what is good, my sizes? We are back again with another video, and today we are at the one and only Garden Buffet at South Point Casino. Before I forget to tell you, don't forget to get a player's card, even if you don't gamble, just so you can get the discounts. One card is good enough to cover for two people. Okay, you guys, the hours of operation for the Garden Buffet are a little tricky, so stay with me. So for breakfast, Monday through Friday, it's open from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., for lunch, Monday through Friday, it's open from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. For brunch, for Saturday and Sunday, it's open 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. And for dinner, open daily, it's open from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Whew, that was a mouthful. <laughs> I don't know if y'all noticed, but this buffet does have a bar. So this buffet has six different um, sections, I would say. So they have sushi, Italian, Asian, Mexican, barbecue, and the salad bar. I will say that I have been to this buffet more than probably most of the other buffets. I basically grew up here. I think of this buffet as more of like a local's buffet, to be honest. But this food smelled so good. Like, there was never a time where I was standing in, a buff in this buffet where, like, it didn't smell good. Okay, so a super important fact here is to note that they have a build your own nacho bar because nachos is like my comfort food and I love that. So the fact that they have their build your own nacho bar, I would come every day. Also, under the Italian selection, they have a create your own pasta dish. I don't know who came up with all of these create your owns, but I'm so here for it. I don't know about you guys, but nothing is better when I go to a buffet and then there's create your own stations because you, all you literally have to do is point and be like, yes, I want that. Yes, I want that. No, I don't want that. And that's like the easiest thing to do. And I am so here for it. Also, this is their carving station and their prime rib seriously looked super rare. And the great thing about that is that they will put it back on the stove for you for it to cook a little bit longer. I am definitely not one to like voluntarily go to the salad bar unless it's for fruit, but their salad bar, they have a build your own crepe station and you can watch them make your crepe. And they also offer warm apple strudels, but it gets better because you can build your own strawberry shortcake. The salad bar definitely has the most build your own stations along with the most salads I have ever seen in my entire life. Like to me, this all looks like the same salad. There's so many salads. I couldn't tell you the difference between any of them if I tried. This is also like where most of the live cooking stations will be and you can watch them either make somebody else's dish or you can ask for whatever they are offering or even a little like customization of a dish itself. I'm sure they'll do it for you. But also look how many soups they have to offer. I've seen a soup station with a soup here or there. But the Garden Buffet has six different soups. So they seriously have one for your every mood or need. Alright you guys, and per usual, I am running out of time, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below what type of soup you would eat, or what your favorite thing about this buffet has been, and smash that subscribe button down there while you're at it. Doodles!